Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, world. Welcome to Coffee Time with Flame on the Road. I know I did not do a coffee time yesterday. I actually did one, but I didn't submit it because uh, it was a lot going on. <laughs> um, so let me start off this morning by saying good morning. Let me move my finger. I know because every time about Flame, you keep moving the camera, your angles. I see I got my coffee. I got my coffee. This morning I'm on a, I'm on a diet, so I'm having some smokeless, some skinless smoked sausage. And I got some hash browns in my toaster oven because my fat ass is about to pig out. You see, pro enamel. Healthy, strong teeth. Some of you girls need to stop brushing your teeth. Your breath be kicking. But thank you for tuning in to Coffee Time. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I am so looking forward to seeing you all at the Miss Black Un Mr. and Miss Black Universe pageant next weekend in Atlanta. On Sunday, I'll be there supporting the girls and screaming and yelling and having a good time. And then Columbus, Georgia, I'm coming to, uh, what is it, the Big Five Sports Room in there, out there in Columbus, Georgia on Tuesday with Doodle Brown, my boy. Oh, I can't wait to tell y'all when I first met Doodle Brown. <laughs> and he made me take it to the head. I'll explain later. Anyway, so we got a couple of subjects today. First of all, I want to give a shout out to all my people in Illinois. Y'all having a hard time. That governor have set y'all up. Ooh, that governor in Illinois ain't playing no games with, with people in Illinois. You know who y'all need to be angry with, black folks, though? Y'all need to be angry with James Meeks, Larry Trotter, and uh, Corey Brooks, the three black preachers who pushed him and pushed him and pushed him because he made all these false promises because they must have had their hand in the kitty. And he ain't did shit for y'all. He cut off the babysitting checks. He even fucked with in, uh, with the with the in, uh, daycare. Now he's messing with the um, with the nursing checks. If you got like a nurse that comes to your house, now they he been messed with the lottery. Now if you win anything over six hundred dollars in the state of Illinois, you have to wait to hopefully get paid. Child, please, that's a mess. That governor, y'all need to impeach him and get his ass up out of there. Why they trying to attack Obama? Get him up out of there. The next question is, uh, we have to talk about, um, oh, girl, what this girl asked me? Oh, I don't even want to bring up the subject, but the question was asked, and so I'm going to answer to the best of my ability. And the question is, um, just about trans men and trans women dating each other. I don't understand the big issue with that. Realistically, <laughs> holistically, regular, it's a regular couple. They look different, but she's screwing him or I mean he's screwing her so the trans woman is screwing a trans man uh, if they have a relationship and they might you know switch up sometimes and strap up and do some extras but realistically they're not realistically the transgender woman is laying the pipe down to the trans man which I think is sexy I think it's hot anybody that lay pipe I think it's hot they got the new terminology about these uh, feminine tops. They call blouses. That must be a blouse with rhinestones. <laughs> so, and even the most gayest boys, even the sissy sissy boys, even the old punks, the super fags. That's what you call them, the super fags with the lip gloss and the and all that. Once they get up in it, they turn into the last man now. Don't get it twisted. Some of them be real super sissy out the bedroom, voguing and falling out with the pressed hair and all of that. But once they get up in there, they remember, I'm a dude. I'm a nigga. I'm going to hit this spot. I'm going to dig deep and low. So please don't get it twisted because they do lots of extras. Um, the other questions for Coffee Talk were about pageants. We're not on that. I'm not on the pageant stuff. Woo, woo, woo. I'm not with it. Love yourself. Enjoy yourself. I just saw a study on the news that said in West Virginia that the overdose rate is very high because of all the young people using heroin. Drugs is a choice. I, was, I, was at, I wasn't attacked, but several people told me they did not agree with my whole Lamar Odom um, thing. And I didn't say it because he was rich. Because you could be rich or poor and be a crackhead. I said it because it was a choice. It was a choice. Did nobody put a gun to that nigga's head? I'm glad he's doing better, but that don't mean that he ain't going to get well and get high again. I have seen what crack and drugs do to people. I I've seen it. Cocaine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do better. I ain't going to never do it again. And as soon as they get a chance, they take another hit. I know a girl I love to death for 20 years who said she was going to never get high 
If I had a dollar for every time she said she'd never get high, I wouldn't be trying to get bookings out of town. Shit, because I'd be rich. It's a choice. It is a choice. And I'm, I'm sure it's very hard to shake drugs. I've never done drugs, but I, love was my drug. So I'm sure it's very hard to shake it. But it's still a choice to start it. If you don't start it, then you don't have to worry about shaking it. If this, it behooves me to think that somebody tell you this is something, if you do it one time, you're hooked. And they say heroin is one of those one hit acquittals. If you ever do it one time, you're hooked. If you ever do crystal meth one time, you're hooked. Why would I put myself in a position? Shit, drag was like that. You do it one time and you're hooked. I said I was going to do drag one time. Oh, I eat 30 years later, titties and body and hips, silicone and everything. But, but why would you put yourself in a position, if especially you know you got an addictive gene, that... You, you're you going to do something at one time, and then you're going to be hooked for life. You have to think, people. Think, young people. I know you're young, and you think you can conquer the world, but you can't. The world will whoop your ass. Ask me how I know. So just be cautious. Be careful. Find your shoulder to lean on. And think for yourself. You don't have to follow what everybody else do. You don't have to follow no rules. Live outside the box. Color outside the lines. Live outside, step outside your truth to see your, your, on the other side of how you really are and who you really are. This is Flame Road. This is Coffee Time. I'll see you tomorrow.